Hi, Megan here from Modern Genealogy. Today we're going to talk about uploading photos to Family Search. Um, all of us want to see photos of our ancestors, and Family Search is a great way to uh, add photos to your ancestors so that your cousins and other relatives will be able to see them also. Um, I'm going to talk to you about just an overview of adding photos to Family Search and the Family Tree app. I'm going to show you show you how to use both, and I'm going to talk to you about the privacy of these photos. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start out on the Family Search homepage. I'm already logged in, and I'm just going to go click on Memories, and I'm going to show you some things about this first. So I'm just going to click on Overview, and now you can add memories from this page if you um, just click on this part, Add Memories. And here you will be able to see a list of all the memories that you have personally added. Now, if you haven't added any memories, there's nothing that's going to be here. Um, but this is all of the memories that you personally have added to your family tree. Um, it will also um, show up the ones that you've added to living people that are on, that are linked in your tree. Um, now, to add more, you can just click on this green plus sign there and there's a cool new feature where you can add import photos from Instagram, Facebook, or Google Photos. So I'm going to show you how I can Im import one from Instagram. You will have to connect it to your Instagram account and I've already done that but I can just click on a picture here. Uh, let's just click on this just for fun. You can add more than one at a time, but we're just going to add this one and it's uploading and it failed. Interesting. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Instagram, come on. Let's try this one. Import photos. And there, you see how it automatically puts the text that you added on Instagram as the heading there. Now you might not want that as the title, so you might need to change that around by um, adjusting the information here. So you can add a topic tag. That's just if you want, if you have pictures of baptisms or maybe family reunions or something and you want to have something that you can search easier, you can add a tag. You can add an event date. You just put the date in there. Um, so say it's the 5th of March 2020. It'll have this here and you just click on that to have the right standardized date. Um, you can add an event place and just put the information in there. We're just going to say Calgary, Alberta and it will pull up that there and then that standardized and then that becomes searchable um, because this is a living person it's not actually really searchable. At least I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> as far as I can tell, it's not searchable for living people. And you can add a description, add it to an album. Maybe you want to have an album for each of your children. You can add an album there and um, um, you can add this to a story. So maybe you want to write uh, some information about this. So Brian and Elijah, oh, this are, is the title. So they were in a play called Joust. You could then start writing a story about how they were in this play and maybe some experience with it. And I could add some more pictures by clicking on this plus sign there, upload photos, select from gallery. I'm not sure if, yeah, you'd have to upload there. So if you wanted to do them from Instagram, you'd need to add them all at the same time at the beginning. And then you can just save that story. Um, so it says that all memories added to Family Search are public. But from what I can tell, and I'll show you that in a little bit, that is only if they are linked to you. So a living person linked to you. Um, as far as I can see, now don't quote me on this, and they'll probably write this just because they don't want to have any um, worries about, you know, these photos getting out to people that aren't linked to you. But as far as I can tell, you can only see memories for those living people that are linked to you. So that would be your children, your parents, your grandparents if they're still living. Um, as far as I can tell. 
<laughs> I just want to say that because a lot of people are worried about adding photos and memories to family search due to privacy issues or whatever. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend uploading uh, birth certificates or whatever because if one of your grandkids accidentally, I don't know, clicks you as deceased, maybe they accidentally do something, then those memories would be viewable to anyone. So I personally wouldn't upload sensitive material like that. Um, but again, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to find all of that information out and I couldn't really find much. So that is a way to add a story and a photo uh, from Instagram. And you can also do it from Facebook and uh, your Google Photos. Another thing, so let's go back to the overview of memories here. Um, if you click on Find, now this searches all of the memories that are on the family tree, not just yours. So say you want to search for uh, photos of people in the Civil War. Search for Civil War and it will scan through all of the memories in Family Search and look for memories that are associated with the Civil War. Now, these are all different documents. Um, if you want to filter photos or stories, documents, audio, maybe you just want photos. Um, so you can search that again and it will limit that to photos. Some people upload documents as photos, so you might get some of those in there. But then you could just look at it. Um, you could even look at the person. You, if you click on the little arrow, there's more information about them. Um, but that's just a way to, I don't know, maybe you want to use that for some reason. <laughs> but it's kind of an interesting thing if you're wanting to find photos of different time periods or different people or or whatever. Click on people, then you can see uh, all the people that are in your tree, close relatives, added by me, maybe people that aren't attached to the family tree. You can see what's going on there. So I'm just going to go to the overview again. So you can add a memory of a person here, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'll show you a different way. So we can go here again, and I'm just going to choose a file that I have saved. And Okay, so it's going to upload there, and then you can add all the information. If I click on it, that should take me to the bigger window. There we go. So I'm just going to put this as my grandma. So you can just put your, their name in there. And... And again, you can add a topic tag, add an event date. I don't know the date of this or the place. You can add a description if there's something that has happened. Um, and you can add it to an album. You can also add a story if there's something, um, a story that goes along with it. Another cool thing is that you can record a memory that attaches to the photo. So if you have um, maybe an event that you know someone was there and you want a memory of that told there, you can record a memory to go along with the photo. Then you also click on the image to tag the person that's in it. And then you can adjust this to kind of have it a good portrait, kind of, because you can choose those images to use as their picture that shows up in the family tree. Okay, so that is how you can add a photo to Family Search. Now I want to show you some things that I was playing around with to try to figure out the privacy of these photos. Okay, I'll just go to my family tree. So I'm going to go to my grandma, Nellie Perry. Okay. Now when I clicked on her memories, I knew that there was a picture in her memories that also had my daughter. So I was curious, I had heard that if a living person was tagged in a deceased person's photo, then other people could see it. Now I know that other people could see the photo because it's in the deceased person's memories, but I was wondering if they were able to click on that person and see their name and maybe even go to their profile. I don't know. I wasn't sure what everyone was worried about. So this is mine. I tagged my daughter's name there. I linked it to her in my family tree. 
so I can see that. Now I'm going to show you how when I log in as someone else, if they can see that photo. Okay, so I am on my husband's account. He has my grandma on his family tree also linked through me. And if you look at that same picture, it has my grandma tagged, but it does not have my daughter tagged. Even though he also has my daughter in his family tree, it does not have her tagged. So yes, it shows the picture of the living people, but it doesn't have their tag on there. Unless you put that in the description, which it is in here, which my father-in-law added this picture in. So it does have her name there, but if he didn't put his name in there, there's no way he would, anyone would know who these people are, which it's fine with me. I don't, I don't care that that's in there. But if you are worried about privacy, um, it's not going to link to your profile or anything. It just will have a picture of you. And if they added your name in there, then it will have the name in there too. Now this is my daughter's profile page on my husband's account and I was just seeing if the memory shows up there for her. It does not. There's no memory there. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you another interesting thing about family search memories. So this is my father's profile um, and he has some memories added here. I can see them. I did not add them. He did. So I'm not totally sure how that works exactly because he has a different ID than I have for him. So I'm not sure how it links. I wonder if that is through the um, LDS church membership. Somehow they link those accounts together. I'm not sure. But when I, I have a memory on my account that I have uploaded that is not visible on my children's account or on my husband's account. So I'm not totally sure how that works with memories, but basically what you need to know is if you don't want people to see your picture, don't put it on family search. Um, the only people that should be able to see it are those that are linked to you in your family tree. Um, anyways, so, so that is how you add a photo to family search on the computer and a little bit about the issues of privacy or and finding those memories on family search um, another thing is that when a living person dies those memories are still there and anyone that merges their living person when they died together all of the memories join together so if you have um, like I just had a grandmother who passed away my aunts and uncles they had memories of her added on their family tree when they all put her as deceased and they merged her together all of those memories come together so they are not lost when someone passed away so now I'm going to show you how to add a photo using the family tree app Okay, so in the Family Tree app, I'm going to show you how to upload a photo. So this is an Android phone. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different for an iPhone. So just click on Memories and click the plus sign at the bottom right. Click on Add Photo. You can either select your camera. That's going to whoop, do that. <laughs> if you have the picture you want to take a picture of. Or you can do File, which I'm going to do. If Family Search Gallery, that's just all the all the photos that you've already uploaded. So we're just going to select the one that I want to do. You can actually crop it in here. So you just ad adjust that there. Click crop, save. And then you want to add some information about it if you can. So I'm just going to add a title. I'm just going to say Dio and siblings for now because I don't have all their names on hand. Um, now, he, because I uploaded it through my grandpa Dio, he is already tagged. But see how when I click on it, it's the windows for the whole thing. So we want to adjust that just to him so that we know who. Oops, it's kind of a pain to do this on the phone. So we want to know who is Dio exactly. So you want to adjust that. Then you see how it has little windows, little um, squares around each of the faces. So when you click on those, um, you can, now if I can remember what his name was, that would be good. If you put in their last name. Um, I actually know that Dorothy is one of these girls, so let's. 
and it's her. Let's see if that works. Okay, I'm just gonna tag those ones for now. So now when I click on that, it has those two tagged. And then you, you click done. Um, you can add a tag if you want to add a topic tag, like, I don't know, um, if it was a baptism or a wedding or something like that, you could add a tag. Um, but I'm not going to do that. If you go back to it, you can click on the three little dots there. Let's see. If you have a memory of this photo, you can record audio and it will attach that audio file to this picture. It's great for grandparents to get them to talk about the pictures. Um, comments, if you want to comment on event details, you can add a date and a place. Um, just be sure to click on the, um, so say we add like 13th of March, um, 1918 or something. See how I type that in weird? You want to click on the one that they have so it's a standard. And same with the place. So that is how you can add a photo to using the Family Tree app. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on here and I will try to answer them as best as I can. But thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends and happy searching.